going everybody how's everybody feeling today all right so we can be speaking about this crazy story it looked like it went viral about this mother that had her children cussing and carrying on on live facebook live over her funky butt implant she was confronting people because they were talking about her butt her fake behind and also i believe one of them brought her children into the mix and she had her children come on facebook live to defend themselves and you should have heard them children i'm gonna put the clip towards the ending of the video them children was cussing roasting cutting slicing and dicing like no tomorrow they were cussing better than grown folks i'm like where they get that this new generation is bugged out and she's sitting there with her, with her wig well slayed sipping on some wine now sis if you was to choke on that damn wine i wouldn't felt no way because you sat your fake behind in that chair had your children cussing and carrying on and you thought that was cute and like the saying goes, just because a person is able to reproduce a child and give birth to a child, does that make them a good mother? Does that make them a good father? And there was nothing funny, there was nothing great about having little children cussing and carrying on. And if they could carry on like this when they're young, could you imagine when they get older? They might end up being men's society. And if something was to happen to these children, the mama have to take full blame. Because we could we could come at the children and they were wrong for acting like that. But can you really put all the blame on the children? You got to go to that mother. She's sitting there talking about and lying her ass off talking about all oh, my kids don't curse. They don't curse. The way how them children was cursing that video, they sound like they've been, they, they been cursing since they were able to talk. And mama, they got it from you because she was cursing while telling, her, while telling us that her children don't curse. So how are you cussing? They got that from you, mom, and your mouth is filthy. Your mouth is filthy. And it's such a shame because we see these children grow up. These are supposed to be our future generations. This is supposed to be our future, these children, these babies. And they grown up to just to, to not be nothing great in society. You know, I know it's not easy if you're a single parent to raise a child, and it could be a lot, especially if you have to work. And I know it's not easy, but it's no excuse to have your children conducting themselves in that manner. Because you're not setting your children up for any type of greatness at all. You're setting your children up for failure. It's so sad to see something like that because I was disappointed. I wasn't laughing. I was actually appalled to even see and watch and hear that. They should have been popped in their mouth. I understand their children. They should have been popped in their mouth. Because I know I would have got popped in my mouth and my parents heard me speaking like that. I would have never had the guts to speak like that. Never. I never spoke like that as a child. As I got older, a little different, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. But now, even now, I, as an, a grown adult, I don't even curse like that. I don't like cussing. I have to be real upset to for me to curse, but I don't like cursing. So why would I want my children emulating that? Why would I want my children modeling after me? Because your children take after you. What you do, how you conduct yourself, your mentality, whatever, who, who you are is who your children most likely would be. You transfer yourself into your children. So if you bad, your children most likely are gonna be bad. That's not always the case, you, got, you all, but at the end of the day, that's facts. What you are, your mentality, your belief system, your behaviors, all of that the children will pick up on. All the children will be taught. So if you know good and you ain't ish, most likely your children ain't gonna be good name, but they not gonna be ish. So please have decorum, have more respect for yourself. And understand that when you decide to have a child, you're responsible for that life. And it's your duty to nurture, to protect, to guide your child. Don't guide them to hell. Don't guide them to the damn prison cell. Don't guide them to be very six feet under before their time and mama that's what you do because your daughters can grow up all girls they can grow up and come mouth off at the wrong person and that and that could be fatal and mama what you gonna do them chicks don't look like they will walk away i remember i was on a train and there was this guy and these two young teenage girls they were arguing because they claimed he was looking at her butt 
And he was like, I was looking at your flat butt. I like my woman with something with a big ass. Well, ma'am, you do look old in the face. These teenage girls did not look 16. They look like they were in their 20s. And they were dressed like harlots. Well, at least one of them were. Both of them were, but one was showing more skin than the other. And they started fighting. They started fighting because the girls was mouthing off to this big grown man. He should have walked away too. But they should have not continued the argument. And they were cursing him out, calling him names, just going in on the dude. They started fighting. The dude took out a knife and was getting ready to stab them. You know? And I felt like if there was nobody around on that train or in that station, he, one of the girls probably would have ended up dead. And it's all stemmed from what an argument for them mounting off. For them going at this big grown man. Hopefully they change their ways. They're still young. But sometimes when something is instilled in a child, it's hard to break that when they get older. So moms and dads out there, women and men out there, it's up to you to really steer your children in the right direction. Anyway, you guys can see the video for yourself. Leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, like if you want, and catch you in the next video. All right, bye. I just wanna know what they said about me. Hold on, what they said? Cause y'all like me to be talking about my sister like that. Y'all ball and tail. Nobody like y'all. What they said? They, they, they said. Who I was talking I, about I, me? Her I, whole I, clique. Her whole clique over there. No, no, she got a They said you get $1,200. And that's her big. Okay, and that's, okay. First of all, you in my business, don't do that because, baby girl, you can get out of my business. You mind your own business while you're yeah. over there. You need to mind your own business. That's how you finna get locked up, baby. So don't be doing that. You need to mind your own motherfucking business and don't mind mine. Period. Thank you. Period. 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 And see, I don't even let my children cuss, but y'all getting on they fucking nerves. They sick of y'all. Y'all keep that name in some shit. Baby, I don't got nothing to do with that, so you can keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. You can't remove. You can, re you can remove my fucking name from your fucking vocabulary. Yeah, that's what you can do. Yeah, that's what you can do. Yeah, you can remove my fucking name from your fucking vocabulary, bitch. You can remove my name from your vocabulary. And I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all playing with my mom, cause y'all always doing it. Like y'all haters. Go to, the, mad as fuck. go to the go to the dentist and get my name took out your motherfucking mouth, bitch. You look Period, asshole. bitch. Since you got money to get fucking veneers, bitch, get no, my money, money. Y'all fucking name took it out my motherfucking mouth, ugly asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that that, 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 that gas, 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 that